Birgitta is actually a trained nurse and a psychologist, uh, but she's also a mother of a young woman with pants. And Birgitta has written a fantastic book. Um, it's called Hur i helvete blev det så här in Swedish, which translates to How the hell did this happen? Uh, and I will leave you to present um, your story briefly. Yes. Welcome, Birgitta. Yes, my name is Birgitta Opex, and my 29-year-old daughter, Amandine Opex, has pants. It's been 23 years since I last spoke at an international conference. It was in New York at Bren Hyatt Hotel. I had almost forgotten about it as if it were in another life. But when I saw a documentary on TV recently about Donald Trump, I recognized the hotel and my memories came back. <clears throat> I, by the time of the conference in New York, I was a very privileged woman, and my life was basically without problems. I was a psychologist with a good job and a high salary. I was also <clears throat> happily married and a mom of two children, a boy and a girl, four and six years old both wealthy and well-growing. Only two years later, everything was turned upside down. One day in the middle of May, my daughter, Amandine, came to me in the laundry room and showed a variety of different things. The head flew here and there, and she had severe anxiety. In a strange way, she also repeatedly touched on different things in the house, and I was shocked. I got a little glimpse of the scary movie that would be our life for the next 15 years. When Amandi was 14, her condition worsened, and she got suspended from school because of bad behavior. I had to stay home from my work and take care of her. I thought it would be for a short time. It would prove to be forever. But when Amandine was 14, we didn't think it could get any worse. But it could, much worse. For the next nine years, we lived in total misery. For several years, Amandine could not eat, and she was close to dying twice. Finally, she was fed by a tube going into her stomach, and I think that saved her life. She had a tube for two years. Uh, she spent for a total of four years in a closed psychiatric clinic and at the treatment center. And despite high doses of psychiatric medication, her condition did not improve. Amandine's OCD made ordinary life impossible for her and for me. I was involved in her compulsive behavior. I knew it was wrong, but I didn't have the strength to resist because I couldn't handle her deep anxiety and outbursts of aggression. The medical stuff, uh, excuse me. Uh, the medical staff didn't know what to do, and finally they concluded that I suffered from Munchausen by proxy. and that Amandine would feel better without me. I knew it was wrong, and we left the psychiatric care and moved. We were helped by a doctor, and for free, we didn't have to pay. 
Just then, I have read an article about pandas online. It was written by Gunilla Gerland, chair of SANE. That article changed everything. And our unpaid doctor helped us, and finally, the Swedish healthcare system let Amandin see a, neuro a neurologist and specialist on autoimmune encephalitis in Denmark. He changed her diagnosis and switched treatment to broad spectrum antibiotic, high dose of steroids, and a drug that suppresses the immune system. And slowly, most of the symptoms disappeared, but not all. Amandine is still feeling bad for periods, but it's better, much better. Unfortunately, when Amandine got better, I got sick from three different types of autoimmune diseases. I was also very exhausted and I couldn't go back to work. And apart from this, I was also very ex I was also I didn't know what had happened all these years, so I decided to write a book. Hur i helvete kunde det bli så här? How the hell did this happen? It was published last year. I want to say thank you for listening. Just out there, and I think everyone who works with psychiatric patients should read it, and everyone who's interested in pants or want to read an interesting book should read it. Now, I want to welcome Begitta's daughter, Amandine, up on stage. And we will just end the first day with listening to Amandin, and then I will say a few words before we go to dinner. So, uh, I'm so glad that you are here, and we'll sing your music, and Amandin, she writes all the music, and she plays and sings herself. So, Hello, uh, my name is Amandin. I'm a songwriter and I'm going to sing for you tonight. Um, the first song I'm going to perform is a song that I actually wrote to myself. Uh, when I was 17 I had a really bad eating disorder that almost killed me. Uh, so this is what I would like to tell myself if I could turn it back. The name of the song is Different Ways.
Oh, oh, oh. 